Hey, Amy. <laughs> hey, Taylor. I got a new computer. What? A new computer? How new is it? It's so old. <laughs> it's, it's the Radio Shack TRS-80 model MC-10. And I'm kind of in love with it. It's so cute. It's a, it, it still amazes me that there were computers this small back in the day. Because we, we didn't personally have them. No. I would have loved something like this yeah, and that, if I, mean, I had known it existed. I was going to say, and good thing we didn't know about it. So this sold for like $129 when it first came out. And then $79 bucks later on. They had to slash the price. And it came out to compete with the Sinclair Timex 1000, which is the American branding of the ZX81. Mm -hmm. um, no one needed to compete with that computer because it was terrible and it did not sell on this side of the pond. But And, and so mm. therefore neither did this one. This one mm. got released, I think, in 83 and also discontinued in 83. So like, it only existed for a minute. So I wonder how many of them total ever got made. Well, here's the thing. Across the pond, as rebranded with a red case called the Alice, it was very popular in France, which is probably why there's a big scene today of people that are still into uh -huh. this computer. Um, but this was the, the American version. Now. So you have one of, like, the ten ever made. No. <laughs> The serial number on this is 22,595, so yeah, there's a, there's a few others. But anyway, I think this is relatively new, as in not used by someone. Mm -hmm. Not new in the sense that it was made recently. Right. But here's the thing. I bought it in its original box, and I can tell you for a fact. New in box? Well, they had opened the box. Oh, okay. Because they had moved some things around. It came with a power supply. It came with a TV switch box. So I have a new one of those. And it came with an RF cable. Here's where things got dicey. The RF cable was placed on top of the computer. And when you put the rubber that's on these old cables next to the plastic that contains the, mm. the computer, it eats into it, and Love. so show them up close. You can see that it has some cosmetic yeah. damage. Well, it's um, like like dissolves like from from where the from where yeah, the you can so, see, and you can see where the cord. I mean, you can clearly see that it's a cord. <laughs> so, like on the one hand, I'm like, oh, it's got some cosmetic damage. But on the other hand, I've got proof that no one touched uh -huh. this thing for decades. Long they didn't even to, jostle the box. Yeah, the, long enough for it to the, melt the itself. The cord stayed in one place. So, I, it mm. still has its warranty. The yeah. seal has not been broken, so it has not been opened. Not, not yet by us. And it also or anyone. came with, oh, here's my brand new shiny, shiny brand new thing I don't need. Um, it came with this manual that I just adore. Um, it gives you an introduction to the operation and how to connect it to a TV and then it really goes into micro color basic which is mm. the brand of color micro basic colors. it has um so, so we're going to use this mm -hmm. um uh, important customer information <laughs> that's there and i got this startup guide oh, wow. which i really like because it it has this um that's really good all the basic commands. I would absolutely micro color basic. I love. I have this. used that in the day, but and also now. I might frame it. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. That'd be so good. Cool. That'd look great on the Radio wall. Shack, wouldn't it? Yeah, we need that. It'd be cute. Yeah. A good decoration um, for the lab. So let's plug it in for the lab. Turn okay. It on. And I'm gonna show you. So, one thing. Uh, another thing. Okay, different from the. Recall with the specky mm -hmm. when we plug it in, or the Harlequin, as I it like turns it. on. Mm -hmm. This one has a switch. Behold, do we need to bring? Yes, let us let them behold. The surround Microcolor Basic 1.0, copyright 1982, Microsoft. Nice. So, I'm just going to do a quick print, ma'am. 
Mm -hmm. I like this keyboard. It's chiclet, so it's not membrane. It's better than yeah. that. Is it the greatest keyboard ever? Absolutely not. Is it totally fine and functional? Yes. So this bad boy has 4K memory. That's a problem, and that was a problem at the time. And yeah. at the time, they sold. You see, it's got this cartridge port on the back. Oh yeah, yeah. What's going they on? sold a add-on cartridge that was 16K, which then gave you a total of 20, which is a strange number. Um, it is a strange number. So even at the time, you could upgrade the RAM because mm -hmm. 4K just really isn't Very a small. lot. Yeah. Um, I feel like we have to type hello world. I think we should. Oh, I'm curious about something. <laughs> okay. Oh, math. <gasps> okay, that's better than I thought. I thought this might have integer basic and just give me three, but it gave me quite a few decimal points on 22 divided by seven, so that's cool. All right, all right, all right, all right. 10. And like, <laughs> like, like the, the, Spectrum that came later in the, the ZX81, it does have key commands, including peek and poke, um, to make this go faster. So yeah. I just typed the word print, but I'm going to... But you don't have to. I don't. I can do 10, control, bam. Yeah. So that would go super fast. And this is a little bit less, I mean, love the Spectrum, but man, looking at that keyboard, and tr if you're just trying to cold figure it out, D damn. <laughs> this one's a little bit a little bit easier to process just just looking at it. My, my coconut coconut drink. I did something wrong. How do you backspace? That's I was looking for it. Mm. CCLS. Got it. Okay. There's a reason I'm not in charge of typing this. There we oh! go. Show them. All right. Let me bring it around here. <laughs> the green matches your t-shirt. Awesome. And so this is Hello World. Break. Yeah. Beautiful. There it is. There it is. That's easy peasy. Wraps around and everything. Okay. All right. Now, I do want to do some basic programs that are in the book that are just sort of samples of what it can do graphically and what it can do um, uh, with audio. Right. Um, although, I did find the most hilarious typo in this book. There's a game of of there, there's a, a casino game that is called craps it's not death chess is it no but they have a a version of that game as oh. a basic program but they did not call it craps so it just says crap game crap. <laughs> which does not sound like something you'd really want i want to play that crap game yeah i think that game is called craps okay, whether you're describing it as crap or it is a game with crap. Neither sounds like, appealing. Like this one, Kaleidoscope, I think it's just going to show yeah. kind of like the color showcase. Um, oh, another name that seems like it's about crap is Categories. But I do not <laughs> want to type anything. Not that I don't enjoy it. I really actually enjoy typing. Yeah, it's not, it's, not, it's not bad. I like this better than the Commodore the 64. The space car <laughs> is so cute. It's adorable. Okay, guess what? Okay. Lay it on me. There's some upgrades. Let me a drink of, of water. <laughs> mm-hmm. This is a mi we, we, I really, we should be having tiny coconuts since it's a micro cocoa. Upgrades are available for this. What we got? All right, is there an AV mod? Yes, there is. It is not in stock, so I have not ordered it. So I don't have it, but one day, and that will be the It'll excuse happen. I use to break the warranty. Yeah. Um, but, as I mentioned, they used to have a little RAM pack that you could add to the back. Mm. There's a modern version of that. Instead of 16K, it's 32K, which will give you a total of 36. But it also has an 
SD card slot. So that means so it's... we can put software on this yeah. that we don't type. So this is the game changer. <laughs> so first, literally, first let me turn it off. Okay. And if you would hand me, nope, I'm gonna grab the screwdriver. I'm gonna take the. So you don't trust me to hand you the right thing. You should. <laughs> And you know why. Yeah. I will hand you a serrated steak knife. Okay, Might so work. this little piece of, that is metal, uh -huh. is now disconnected. Yeah. And I'm going to add. And that's some that somebody 3D printed that case, yeah? Yeah, but that's the exact same form factor as the original. Mm -hmm. um, I love this little LED light. Can you see it? Oh my god. Now when we turn it on, it loads MCX Basic 3.0. Now I can still do print mem. Oh! Oh. That's more. Come on, look at this. That's bigger. Oh. The and that's power. crazy. You're like, boop. Yep. Here on the, the Color Computer Archive, if you go to Archive, you can just go to MC10. And we're going to go to Software, and we're going to grab some... What do, we, what do we want? Well, we want games. Always. Um, you can just shout out a game you want. I want Coot in Common. What? Look at the bottom under K. Coot in Common. So, um... Dragon Castles. Dragon ca Why are you... Okay. Dragon Castles. Because I'm a Dragon Slayer. Demon Attack. I got my Dragon Slayer shirt on, so I got my Dragon... Freeway. Haze Maze. Ooh, oh, no, it's a kind of, we're, we're kind of getting them off. Is there, oh, is, no. is there a download? Oh! Ooh, Pinball. Oh, that'll be... A Life! Pac-Man! Life! Life. Is it what I'm thinking it is? I hope. Well, I hope so. <gasps> Star Tet Trek! Tetris. Everything. Star Trek. Well, uh, yeah, well, you already did. Oh, look, Tetris even says there's a 4K version of it. Uh, Let me get the other one. Yeah, because we, so we, we got more. We got all the K we need. K. All right. Um, We're swimming in K. <laughs> all right. I'm going to pop this in. Holy oh, stoked. Okay, I'm going to get back on us a little bit better. Yeah, you're on. Um, We'll see. So we also downloaded the MCX Basic User's Guide <laughs> so to we, learn how to so do this. What to do. Um, so if you type DIR, bring it around so we yeah. know the kids can see. So the directory tells me all the things that we copied over to the SD card, so that's awesome. And then to run something, these are all basic programs, so we're just, or C10 is something, but we're going to use the load command, and we're going to use quotes. Which one play, Amy? Mm. Mm. Demon attack. Demon attack. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm, I was, I'm just... I want to play them all. I know, we shall. Okay. That's the hard part. And then we just type run. Demon attack. Demon attack. One for left, dash for right. Okay, that's these. Space to fire, S to play. Let's do it. Is it a... Oh, I like... I like the sound. Yeah, the sounds are cool. Okay, I got killed by the demon. <laughs> you, can, you can see us in our legend. Hey. Lower. It's like uh, when Got you're him. a kid and you draw birds and they're like, Got lines. him. Oh, you're. Got him. <laughs> when is this the game on challenge? Got him. Missed him. Yeah. Oh, he's so whitey. 
he's a demon and he is attacking you. So this is like one at a time space invader. Yeah, it is. A very bare bones. The tiny house version of Space Invaders. Hey man, we're saving money on uh, green screens because I can see you in the black reflection. Oh, I got. I have one left. He is like a stormtrooper. Oh! I got him and he got me. Traded. Yeah, that did not kill me. Got him. Oh, okay, so one thing, like when you miss, see how it goes all the way up? You can't fire till it disappears. Uh, all right, I got 350, and that was a pretty good sounding video. Pro gamer. That's um, your pro gamer right there. All right, watch this. Press Q to quit. I'm going to um, list it, because it is a basic program. Oh, that's crazy. So there it is. Yeah. Look at that. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm taking is, but that's cool. I want, what was the one you asked for? Oh, the Dragon Castles. Oh, the one I did at first? Oh, I don't it's see it. Here. Okay, Dragon Castles. Load. Yeah, it was like Tootin' Common, but not Kootin' Common. <laughs> Run. Oh, look at that dragon. That was like a T-Rex. That is a... That that's, is pretty so great. Great. that's pretty great. That's great. Game level one. Mm -hmm. All right, I've got my castle. Oh god, is this is World Map of Warcraft. Of the castle. Okay, definitely. I want the blue one. Three castle. Three. Yeah. Rendering. <laughs> yeah, you can watch it render. A helmet is found here. Plus fifty. And Look at that! I've got fifty points because I found the helmet. Because you clicked on the right. So what is mm. four? You can watch it. You can watch it draw and then subtract it out. Uh oh! There's oh. dragon in this castle. So this is oh, basically oh, just like oh, oh. pick. That was. <laughs> they shuffle the cups, but without um, the cups. And... Wait, I just lost. That that was it. That was the, that was the whole game. I found a helmet and then it didn't help. The next games could be pretty great. Oh, yeah, you can have fun playing them. I just don't know about the you know, content. <laughs> it's, like I'm, it's like I'm there. It's like I'm in space. And That's it's loading. The whole idea that it's having to load is so funny. The graphic is just text and some start. Here we go. What? Okay, for possible use later. Interesting. 42. Of course. Do you want your orders? I yes. No, how yeah. else we, we would yes. proceed. <gasps> start eight. As commander of the United... Space, not, what? <laughs> well, Starship Enterprise. I'm going to go back and change that in the code. Oh, you should, yeah. Your yeah. mission is to rid the galaxy of the deadly Klingon menace. So we, this is stated. To do this, you must destroy the Klingon invasion force of 21 <gasps> battle cruisers. That's a lot. I have 40 solar years to complete your mission. This game is going to take a minute. Um, yeah, I hope this isn't real. The time. Enterprise is currently located in Quadrant 5... Dash two sector three dash eight. I thought this was a five year mission. Short range sensor scan. Nope, it's graphic. Command. Is this battleship? Klingons twenty one. Condition green. I've got all my energy. I've got all my photon torpedoes. Four tons. Photon four four ton four tons. Four ton five ton. <laughs> I've got still a lot of Klingons and still a lot of years left. So command four. Enter. Torpedo course. Okay, four was fire. Um, four. Enter. Oh look, I shot a. This this is a battleship. Command four. Torpedo course six. Star destroyed. I destroyed a star. That's a star and not a Klingon ship. Star destroyed. Okay, 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 okay. His Break. name is Star Wars. Sparkle. Thank you. And there's page 220. Oh, this is from a book. Okay, yeah, yeah. What? 
Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is going to give you an idea of all of the colors. I think there are eight. Okay. That the computer has. So the idea. It's also a fractal. It's pretty. Look how it's. Well, I'm hypnotized. Anything strange? Right. Seems to be running okay. And this is another page from the same book. Ooh. I like it. It goes like some bullseyes for you. This has got to not be a lot of code. Surely not. You are about to enter oh. an abandoned house. New favorite game though, Haunted House. I'm really loving Haunted House. Yeah. I kind of want to keep playing it, like on know. the MC. We won't, well, we won't put you off for that. Yeah, until Haunted House is the game on challenge. Oh yeah, and then four hours of streaming of that. I think the problem with text-based mm. games in this specific case would be that you can analyze the code. It's like flipping ahead in a choose-your-own-adventure, <laughs> which like, we've done. I don't know. What I'm supposed to choose, but I want to get to this page where I win the pyramid. You and know. you're back. Yeah, yeah. You, you reverse engineer it. That would be totally cheat. popular, like possible to do with yeah. um, We re the code. Rewrite it. We've got, yeah. So that the... You just turn it on and it says you win. Yeah. So mm. the... What is this called? The MCX32SD by Zipster, working great, perfect, love the card, we can put more stuff on it. Not that there's a ton of stuff for this computer, but there is some, um, there's available stuff. There is a 128 in terms of the amount of K extra mm. RAM you get, but that one doesn't have the SD card. Yeah, and I feel like the SD, SD card, card is... for me is the jank game changer. Yeah, it is. And... Here's the composite and sound, which is out of stock. So if it ever goes back in stock, Mr. Zipster, sir, I will order one. Thank you. Yeah, Zipster. Um, Think about your girls over here. <laughs> but I'm glad that the MCX Basic um, uh, instructions, the, the, the user manual, was available online. Yeah, that did. may have been on the Color Computer Archive. I just didn't know to go there. But um, So this is adorable. Yeah. And fun to play with. I'm and just I'm having a blast with this. I mean, obviously we you know we could do our own haunted house, or like in dragon castles, mm -hmm. we just walk into a room and it's like, oh, there was a dragon here, and now you're dead. A dragon that looks like a very interesting T Rex. Yeah, I'm just kind of T Rex. <laughs> All right, that was great. I love it. Yay! Love it's, it. Good. it's cute. It's fun. Like and subscribe. And comment. Bye. Bye. <laughs>